Are you into travel photography? Then these are the 8 things you must have while you are traveling. Coming up. The first thing is the multi charger. It's called SK Games Multi Speed Charger. So let's take this out. So there it is that you can charge two batteries at the same time with either a power cable like a normal power slot or in using your car battery and I bought this because I'm usually traveling a lot and I there is no way that I can charge my batteries uh, while I'm on the run so this special thing about this is that it allows you to charge using a power bank or a USB port as well let me show you how it works so this is the two charging bases for the battery and I bought two extra batteries along with this package and this is how it goes and you can simply plug these batteries and you can also see the charging percentages over here let me plug this up and show you how it works so here it is now I will plug these two batteries and you can see so as you can see it shows the charging percentages and I'm using the DC cable to charge this and this also supports as I mentioned earlier the car charging port as well as the USB this is a bit bulky as you can see but the weight is not that much so you can simply fit it in your camera bag so I will also keep the links in the description below you can find and uh, you can buy it if you would like the second one is the rise up DC drive cable so this is the gadget let me take it out so this has the normal charger and with a uh, a USB port and also it comes with a USB cable that means you can plug this thing to any USB port which supports the particular amperes that means 2 amperes and at the end you will find a small port which can be plugged into the battery and I get a special battery along with this so this is not a real battery as you can see there is a hole at the bottom which directly can be connected to this particular charging cable and when you put this into your camera you don't have to worry about charging your battery and changing the battery and everything you simply can use this thing as long as you have the power in the power source for example if you have a power bank you can use the camera as long as you have power in your power bank or if you use this charger you can use your camera unlimitedly or as much as you have uh, the space on your memory card if I have to record some videos it's very hard to keep changing on the batteries because the battery drains a lot when we are doing videos so I can simply plug this into the camera and plug this end to a power bank and I'm free to go I don't need to worry about charging my camera the third one is none other than a power bank so this is RAV 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 POWER This is a 20,000 milliamp hours power bank It's a bit heavy You can go with the 10,000 milliamp power battery But I have my camera That means I have now 4 batteries to charge And my phone So I need a plenty of batteries So that's why I bought this So I get the power bank and also I get a nice pouch very nice pouch along with two cables both of them are micro USB this is a bit long this is a bit short I think this is uh, the charging cable oh, I don't know whatever so I get this nice pouch I think it's also a, a splash proof and this can be simply slide into the pouch it's very handy you have two USB outputs and one USB input so this input is 2 amperes input and the output is 3.5 amperes combined or 2.4 amperes each so I highly recommend buying a power bank a good power bank 
in that case because you will be traveling a lot and you need to charge your camera and also your phone so you need backup power i will keep the links in the description for both 20000 milliamp hours and the 10000 milliamp hours in the description check it out the fourth one this is the CSL 4 port usb charger it has four usb ports each has 2.4 ampere output that means you can charge simultaneously four devices uh, at 2.4 ampere power so that means you can charge the power bank or this one or even this guy your power bank needs two amp input for this to be charged with two amp input it takes 11 hours but if you charge it with one amp which is usually the case with most of the usb chargers it will take 22 hours to charge this thing so better to have this kind of thing so these things got you covered in the power department what about storage so the fifth one is sandix 128 gigabytes 150 mbps sd card the reason i bought this is i got a 16 gb 80 mbps uh, memory card but it was so slow and very low capacity what i mean by slow is when i shoot in burst mode or 4k videos it takes a long time to save the video or the photos so i couldn't really do much so i got this from amazon for a cheaper price i think it's 34 uh, euros i could fire 10 frames a second and use the maximum out of my canon m50 using this little baby i highly recommend you to buy this one if you are traveling because you will be traveling for, for days and you won't have time to transfer your files to a computer or an external hard drive so you need capacity you will be traveling a lot and you will bump your camera a lot of places you will have dust a bit of drizzle for this you need a proper camera cover so i did a review in here about easy cover for canon m50 and they have a lot of other covers for other cameras as well i'll keep the links in the description for my video as well as where you can buy it on amazon and i highly recommend you to buy a camera cover for your camera to protect it from dust drizzles and whatever you are bumping into so take care of your camera buy protection if you're also into a bit of videography you need a good mic and one you can travel along with because most of the microphones comes into the camera it's very bulky and also needs a separate power source so i got the cheapest but the best possible microphone for my camera it's none other than rode video microphone this video is recorded using this rode microphone let me show you the difference without the microphone so this video is recorded without the microphone and I think you can see how crappy the inbuilt camera, uh, camera microphone is in Canon M50. So that's why I recommend you to buy at least a good enough microphone for your indoor and also outdoor videography. I can guarantee this will satisfy your needs. Go for it. So now you have all these gadgets. So you need a proper camera bag. I have the Neva Sling Backpack for my Canon M50. Let me show you. So this is my camera bag. So it has the normal compartment which can go the camera, lenses, microphones and even this thing you can put, I don't know, batteries, memory cards. So it has a lot of pockets. For memory cards, you have these pockets. Yeah. And there is another big pocket where I usually keep my my flash and also the flash charger and my cam uh, Canon charger and uh, this is where I put my power banks my USB chargers for my battery that I everything that I show you so it's here and it also comes with a waterproof cover you, you can cover this entire bag this is also uh, splash proof it comes with an inbuilt a rain cover so you can also use this it's also was inside and also it has this small uh, strap that you can put the um, tripod or even in the side if your tripod is a bit big you can use this clip to put the tripod in and uh, shut and it's also very lightweight and the, the best thing about this is 
So you usually wear it as a backpack. And if you want to take a photograph, you I mean usually when you have a backpack, you take the backpack out, unzip it and take the camera and it's a lot of problems. So you simply unlock this and rotate this like this. And there is a side pocket. You can take the camera out. So it's the same pocket you saw from this side. So this is very convenient when you are traveling and if you see something and you want to take a quick snap and this guy helps you a lot so these are the eight gadgets that i highly recommend you if you are into travel photography i will keep the links in the description for all of these items that i explained and i hope you will find it useful until then stay cool